Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this full face of matte, you know what I mean? Matte eyes, matte face, matte lips. Really cute, okay? Um, as you guys already probably know, I mean, if you're subscribed to me, then you know, I only like matte looks, okay? I don't do any shimmer or anything like that. I mean, I do every now and then. My last video was shimmer, but... I don't know okay I'm really into the matte look so if you guys are into matte looks also then this is your video okay but yeah so I just got inspired by like the 90s look you know what I mean um I don't know what I'm gonna name this video it may just be like a full face matte of like matte everything I don't know or a 90s full face matte edition I'm not really sure to be honest but yeah um so this is just what I came up with and I'm just going to leave that at that, okay? And let's just go ahead and just jump into the video before I make this whole intro like super long. And yeah, let's just jump into it. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. So I'm pretty sure you already know I already have one eye done. And that's just because I did not feel like doing both eyes on camera, okay? It already takes me long enough to do two eyes on camera. So like I just did this one for right now. And I'm going to show you guys what I used for... This eyeshadow look obviously um <laughs> i'm weird but today i'm gonna be going in with this tiny little elf palette mine broke i dropped it on the ground the other day um but this is the bite size bite size eyeshadow palette um in the color pumpkin pie and this is mainly the palette that i'm going to be using for today's look so i'm going to take this shade right here which is like a pumpkin spice latte shade it's really cute it's just your everyday shade to be honest and i'm going to take that on this morphe m433 brush and i already primed my eyes and all that good stuff but let me just pounce out that those creases and whatnot and i'm going to be taking this shade on the outer part first because i don't really want to put it um like in the inner part you know like you can't really tell but I only put the most smallest amount on the inner part just because I want this to be like a modern day 90s glam but I really don't even know what I'm going to name this video to be honest it might just get it it might just be like a chit chat get ready with me or something but I do not know okay I do not know so, I hope everybody's Halloween was good. I'm pretty excited about Christmas, okay? Like, Christmas is my thing. I really do like Christmas. So, yeah. I actually worked on Halloween. I worked on Halloween, but it was okay because I got out early anyway. And then I passed out candy and all that. And then later on, I went to go get dressed up and scared some kids. I was in my aunt's haunted house. She made a little homemade haunted house. So that was pretty cool. But anyways, this is mostly going to be like a little tutorial because um, as y'all know, I'm really into matte colors. Like this whole look is just my thing, okay? Like it's just a vibe for me. I really do like it. You already know I'm into matte shades, into very neutral shades. But if y'all can't tell, I'm not really dragging it out or just like blowing it out i'm basically picking it up and lifting the eye at the same time if you can't tell so i want this eye look to be like you know what i mean snatched also you guys i'm really excited very excited i got a new light i know y'all seen it in my last video that i'm going to be posting soon um because what's today November the 2nd and um, I explained in that last video that I felt pretty bad about not being consistent like I freaking said but when it comes to videos I'm like really OCD about how the quality comes out and if the quality doesn't come out the way that I want it I will literally scrap the whole video and I will re-record it like I, I need it to be perfect in a way but I'm trying to tell myself it doesn't have to be that perfect because I'm just like a small YouTuber so I'm trying to just not, you know, stress about it or whatever. But yeah, 
So next I'm going to go in with this darker brown right here in this palette. Hopefully it's picking up the true colors. I have my little viewfinder on my camera and then I also have my laptop sitting in front of me so I'm looking at both because my laptop doesn't show me the true color of anything. It's like off if you know what I mean but my camera actually shows the real natural color. So I'm just going to be picking up that shade just a little bit like a little bit because I do not like it when my eyeshadow looks, you know, get darker. I just don't like it. I like it to look really natural even though who's natural when you wear makeup, okay? But I'm going to be placing that shade on the outer part and then just slowly bringing it out and up just like this side. So I'm thinking about getting my hair done, okay? Um, I've been saving literally like all of my checks from work. Because I mean, I don't really have anything to spend it on. And I want to get my hair done a certain type of way. Like, I haven't gotten my hair done in a while. Um, I don't really trust anybody with my hair because no lie, every time that I go and get my hair done, they either, even if I cut it, they either just straight up chop it up and they don't put any type of like <sighs> what is the word they don't really try when it comes to doing my hair like I've noticed every person that I've been to that does my hair doesn't seem like they actually try and I mean I'm not really that kind of like makes me mad or whatever because you know I'm paying so much money to get you know a certain thing done or whatever even when it comes to my nails which y'all let me take my chumbo off y'all I did my own nails do y'all like them I mean I try to like shave them down and everything and look at my struggle nail I try to do a little ombre nail and it just didn't happen um and then I try to shave them down with this little drill that I also got and I mean, they came out really cute though, okay? They came out really cute. I know I got a lot of compliments on um, everybody asking me where I got my nails done and I told them I did them myself. So this is like my first try and I did them pretty good. Okay, so if you guys wanna see a video on me struggling to do my nails, and I'm not talking about like little natural nails like this, I'm talking about like full on glitter design, some type of detail on my nails and go ahead and just leave me a like and I will film that, okay? Because I know I love seeing videos like that, personally. So the next palette I'm going to go in with is this e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. This is the 18-piece eyeshadow palette. And it's in collaboration with a whole bunch of YouTubers or like beauty influencers on Instagram. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this was only like $12 or $14, okay? Good price. Lots of shades. You already know which ones are most likely my favorite. But I'm going to go in with Dijon and Canvas. Um, I'm going to take Dijon on the middle part of the lid and then Canvas on the inner part um, because they're cute. And I really do want to keep this super simple and easy. And I'm pretty sure that the e.l.f. mini palettes actually have like shades like this. You just have to look. I mean, I, don't, I didn't see them when I went and picked them up, but that was a long time ago, so... They might have just come up with more, but I don't know. I want to get my hair done. I'm going to show you guys a picture of the hair that I want to go for. Um, I see a lot of people with this hairstyle, but I just kind of like really do like it. It's so weird because I swear to you, when I was little, I'm sorry, I'm taking that canvas shade on the same brush. This is a Morphe M422 brush. It's like just a flat shader brush. But anyways, it's so weird because when I was young, my mom actually took me in the third grade. Oh my God. And she took me to go get my hair done for the first time. I feel like it was for the first time to be honest because it, to, like, if I remember correct, like I was pretty excited about it. I mean, I was only like what, nine in the third grade. And she told me to go get my hair highlighted. 
and she got it highlighted red highlights um, which was kind of like a burgundy maroon type of shade and then also like a hazel blonde almost blonde but not too blonde and if I could just find a picture because I was literally going through her Facebook earlier and I wanted to find it because I wanted to like recreate that picture you know what I mean okay so now I'm going to be going in with the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner I've had this for a long time I don't even know if like these go bad or not I'm pretty sure it says 12 months so but I don't think it, it's like bad or anything but I'm just going to go in with this one I should have got the matte one but like they didn't have it when I went to go pick this up all those months ago I'm just going to create a tiny little wing liner, but instead of just stopping in the middle part like I usually do, I'm actually going to take it all the way into the inner part because I'm going to create a inner corner flick and I mean that's, I just like my inner corner flicks. So I already primed my face and I used the e.l.f. if I can find it, oh it's open. What if I would have dropped it? And I just used the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Primer Glow Oil. Um, this is a really good primer, y'all. Like, really good primer. And I, I think I need to go to Target and pick another one up. Because if I ran out... If I ran out... Because it's been doing my skin, like, really good. My skin has been feeling so good, okay? Like, so good. Um, So I'm going to go in with this Banish Seamless Finish Liquid foundation um this is the hourglass foundation and i got mine in the shade honey now i picked this up a long time ago um i'm pretty sure it's not expired but i picked it up probably a year ago so i have a few more months left before it does expire and the reason why i didn't like it when i picked it up was because it, it was just way too in my opinion it was runny and it was really drying but when i I dropped it on the ground the other day because I don't know if you guys remember but I used to have it like right here in my background and I dropped it and I picked it up and I was like let me just put some on my face and I put it on my face and then I blended it out and it actually looked really good so I'm gonna be putting it on my face today um the thing is is I think this is a little lighter so if it is then it is I'll just mix it with my makeup forever one but I'm gonna shake it up and gonna put just that much on my face and I don't really want to put a lot because this is a thick foundation <laughs> I'm so weird but anyways yeah there's that and now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Now this foundation is my favorite foundation as I mentioned in my last video. Um, and I got mine in the shade Y434. Now this is a perfect match for me. And I really do love this foundation. Like this foundation is so good. And I'm just going to put that. And I don't know if y'all can tell but that's just a little darker than the hourglass one so it actually really does look so good on my skin now i'm going to take this dirty beauty blender and pound it out this is probably why i get so many ac so much acne on my forehead and stuff is because i use my dirty beauty blender but like i swear to you i literally wash it all the time um it just happens to be dirty today um so yeah, I just blend it out. And do you see how full coverage that is? Like look how dark my neck is, but it's not really that dark, okay? It's just because the shadow is just under there and my light is like up there. So hopefully I don't look crazy, okay? Okay, so now that I got all my concealer on, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. beauty blender. It's just like a double-sided beauty blender and it's really good like i love this beauty blender a lot for blending out my concealer but i haven't been using this one because i'm just so lazy and i don't ever want to wash it but i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go out <sighs> i'm going to go in with this and just blend out everything 
just like usual and I love it because it's just so soft and it blends everything out so good now tell me what kind of videos do y'all like watching on YouTube I personally love watching vlogs um, it just depends on who the person is is like you know whether or not I'll watch the vlog or not but I really do like vlogs I also like um, makeup looks that are just so simple and easy like I really don't ever um, come across like watching like really exaggerated things you know what I mean if that makes any sense like any type of colorful makeup looks I just don't do that I remember when I first started off in makeup um, I literally always used to do like super like colorful looks and I don't know who I thought I was but I'll insert some pictures because sis okay so I just set my face and everything and now I'm actually going to go in with something that I always use but okay I'm not getting tired of this bronzer however I do want a new bronzer okay so I might just go out and buy one I don't know when because I don't ever go out of town but I need to go out and buy one um, I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep. And the way that I put this bronzer on is with this huge fluffy brush because I don't like when your cheeks are like super chiseled or anything. I just don't like that. But I remember when I used to go in with my bronzer and I used to um, um, cream bronze or cream contour first. And then I would go in and set it and oh my god. Looking back on pictures, I was just so like like five shades darker on the outside and like super light on the inside. So I don't really take it all up on my forehead. I just take it on the sides mostly because I like just the outer part of my forehead to look a little more bronzed. And then I'll just take whatever's left on the brush and just kind of like sweep it over the forehead. Okay, so now going in with one of my favorites. I've been loving this Patrick Ta um, blush. It's really good. And I like the fact that you get two in one. So you actually get the um, cream blush and then you get the powder blush. And I really do need to go pick this up in another shade. I really would like a much more like a deeper one. You know what I mean? Um, just because... I mean, it's getting it's getting to fall already, or it is fall already, is what I mean. Um, and I just want like I want more shades, okay? Um, but this one is in the shade She's That Girl, and I freaking love this blush. I always forget to do the cream one, but it really doesn't matter because I like the powder one too. I don't know, maybe that's me. But be careful because this is hella pigmented, okay? And I put that all up on my cheeks and I love dragging it all the way underneath my eyes and I'm pretty sure like I tell you all this every single time but that's just something that I love doing and it's just a really good trick to like do you know what I mean um, especially if you don't really have like super high cheekbones like my cheekbones aren't like really prominent or anything if you can tell like they're not that you know like like that or whatever but they are up there all right so i didn't even know that my camera had cut off on me and i was doing my lipstick but i just have on the mac cork lip liner and then i put on this artist couture um, lipstick in the shade saucy gal and this is how it looks right here just so you guys can get a visual um, and so yeah, I just used that lipstick. I didn't put no gloss on or anything because I want to keep this look matte. So yeah, so here is the finished look. I keep on saying so, but here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You already know I love all matte colors. I love matte shades. I love my face to be matte. Everything's just matte, matte, matte. Okay, like it's matte. So if you guys love the matte tutorials, then go ahead and just leave me a like. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video um, with your friends, of course. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Let me know if you guys want to see something 
like different something like a certain type of vibe you know what i mean and i will try my hardest to film that for you guys and post it so yeah i'll see you guys on the next video so bye